Hey guys, I'm Orthodon, and we are back for Clone Wars Season 2, Episode 9. So, last time we had the Brain Invaders, which was a very disturbing and has me, like, worried that they're everywhere now and still in someone just hiding out and, like, faking and stuff like that. But I imagine if the Jedi are sure it's safe, then it is safe, so. But, uh... But yeah, do we continue with that storyline? Do we move on to something new? I did kind of see the title, so I have a rough idea that we might be moving on to something new. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to watch it and see what happens. And it's been a while since we've seen who's in the title, so I'm curious to see. All right, we're going to start here in five, four, three, two, one, now. All right. I'm going to clean my glasses real fast while this goes on. I was supposed to do it. I just watched the uh, most recent My Hero Academia episode, which was freaking amazing. For everything you gain, you lose something else. That's a sad thought. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah. It's crazy to, like, think that he wins. <laughs> we we just see him lose so often. Okay, I need to finish cleaning my glasses. Holy crap, that beginning went by way faster than I thought it was going to. I didn't really get a good look at who we saw say, Stand by, Grievous is boarding. Him. He looks cool without my glasses. What's the, uh... It's a similar race to Maul, right? If not the same. But I can't remember what that race is. I feel like I... Oh, um, maybe it's a bit different now that I have my glasses on. Jeez. We just see Grievous get beat so much, but... I think he did win the last time, or at least he got away last time, right? And he managed to kill uh, Kit Fisto's Padawan, I think. Oh no! Nice! Nice! Oh shit, no, you did so good, buddy! Yeah, these guys are a bitch to deal with. Ethkoth. Or Ethkoth. Uh, yes. Damn. And he even has his little backup boys there. Nice. Cool fight. Some good shit this episode so far. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. And then his little bitch boys come in. Oh, no, Ethkoth, we just met you! Yeah, maybe captured at the very least. Yeah. I wonder what the Jedi did to him. Is he, uh, is like a Jedi the reason why he's like s stuck in that suit? <laughs> Why'd you have them there in the first place?
maybe they want the kids to see what... Oh, he's cool looking. Oh. Oh, nice. Okay. Let's see if we can rescue him. Who are you? Some nice, like, cinematography this episode, I feel like. Between that fight and then just the... I don't know why that side shot just looked good. Maybe I'm just crazy. She's cool. I want her name to add to my collection of Jedi names that I never remember and they're too far up my notes to ever look back. <laughs> oh, so they weren't in the system before he knew where they were going? Please, oh. Yeah, okay. I was hoping in the background we were just gonna see them show up. Beow, 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 beow. Oh, well. Guess Grievous planned for this. Kenobi. <laughs> Just... All right. He's not running away instantly, that's nice. Admiral Ularn. I don't know if I ever wrote down his name. And I still won't, just kidding, I will. Oh shit, what are you doing, you crazy boy? <laughs> yes. Oh my god, please warp in right in front of his face. I want it so bad. Nice. 
flying through the space butthole. Oh shit! Nice. The most trippy thing about space is that they are right side up right now. Or they can be. Like, the camera is showing it upside down for the perspective of the viewer, but because of space, it's actually not for them, and it's, like, really trippy to think about. It messes me up whenever I play a space game so much that I can just, like, rotate the axis of my character and just be like, this is up way now. Oh no, you tractor beamed us in. Whatever will we do? I mean, Grievous knows that Anakin is around, so hopefully... I don't know why I root for Grievous, I just don't want to see him run away like a little bitch like he does every time. Nice. Oh no! These damn droids. Being all ninja and shit. Yeah, his little butthole boys. Kenobi! Nice. Took one out. Mmm. Yeah. He knew he'd go there. So he must have some kind of plan. You know. Was this a big plan? Like, sure, they're a little tough, but... Holding his own. Good shit. <laughs> nice. All right. You gonna use that weapon too? Oh, nope. like two arms aren't enough for this fight. Ooh, ooh! I like it. I love the like trail leading behind like the lightsabers in that moment. Looked really good. Oh my god. <laughs> oh! Well, did you forget we can use the force? Seemed a bit silly. I'm gonna go for my arm, huh? 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 Oh. No. <laughs> I love the droids. 
They're so... They're so incompetently competent sometimes. I love the environmental damage with the swinging of the lightsabers. It's so cool. Ha ha ha. Nice. Uh, did it bonk him in the head? <laughs> can you force push a button? He can still use the force! Oh my god. That's hilarious. There's gotta be like... Please don't tell me that's all Grievous had that he thought they could beat... Anakin with that. Nice. Oh, shit. Man, if only we weren't the- oh my god, he just crawls away. Yep, see ya. Galia! He's so scary when he moves like that. Hmm. Well, guess they're not going anywhere. Oh, nice. Good shit. Oh, look at him go. You heroes. Better not die, Cody. Jeez. Oh, shit. Oh, nice. I'm sorry, but the fights are so much more exciting in this than the movies. <laughs> the first six movies. <clears throat> I know they're old, and they... They're, they were amazing for their time. Oh, yes! You get to see her in action. Oh, shit! That is very much the vacuum of space. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry about that, guys. Nice. No, the one... Oh, did the one clone in the very back make it? Oh, nice. Well... Damn. How do you know his position? Nope. Is this an escape pod?
Grievous' super special move, Escape Pod. Both teams are escaping, I get it. I just like to make fun of Grievous because he runs every time we see him. Almost every time we see him. But I guess it's smarter than staying and dying, so. Oh shit, that well. Oh damn. His ship took some damage. He so desperately wants to get down to that planet. I wonder... Are they gonna go after him? Or are they just gonna retreat? Okay, they're just retreating back. Well... They rescued him, though. I feel like that's pretty much a win, even if he got away. Oh, they are gonna chase him. Sorry if you guys can hear my dog, by the way. She's snoring. <clears throat> that was a sick little parking job. Well done. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Great episode. That is it, guys, for episode nine. Grievous is back. I did see the title, so I pretty much knew. Uh, Grievous Intrigue is what it was called. Um, but, yeah, we met a couple new Jedi that, um, considering they they said Ethkoth is a, or Ethkoth, I don't know how you're supposed to say it, but either way, um is, like, one of the Jedi Council, so I, I imagine we probably saw him in the movies. I also wonder if we saw Master uh, Galia anywhere in the movies as well, but uh, two characters that, at least in the in here, I think, is the first time we've seen them. And they might have been in the background somewhere that I missed. I apologize that that's happened before where I'm like, this is the first time we're seeing this character, and then I get a comment being like, Actually, <laughs> which is fine. I like being corrected. I like I like learning all the things I can, and I I don't feel like I failed very much in any way because like usually when I forget seeing a character, it's like a very brief moment or I mistake them for a different character. Like uh, um, just recently, one of you guys commented letting me know about uh, Lot Dodd being in a previous episode and have seen seeing him before but i think i assumed when i saw lot dodd in the the first the very first time i think i assumed it was uh uh newt gunray because they're like the same race and they're both in like the like higher like political position sort of things so i just kind of just put those two together and just assumed they were the same person and and I made that blunder, but, uh, but yeah, so that's probably, like, the worst one that I've done, because I just think they look alike, so I just, you know, my bad. <laughs> um, but, you know, sometimes there's characters I miss in the background, and you guys are like, oh yeah, they were there, and it's like, okay, cool, thanks for letting me know, that's pretty much how it goes, and I'm, I'm fine with that, you know, I miss things, I'm not perfect, but, anyway, um, very cine like cinematic episode I felt like like a lot of the lightsaber fights I felt like were choreographed and shot really well like I liked the the lighting and the 
the tracing on the sabers when they move them. Like, there's something... Let me know if I'm crazy, but it felt like there was something a little extra put into this episode versus the other ones. Like, was this animated by, like, someone who is, like, a little bit better? Did they put, like, a little bit more work into this episode? I don't know if you guys know or or what. And it might just be me being, you know, sometimes I'm in, like... Sometimes I'm really tired and, like, I, I see things different and sometimes I'm, like, more awake and alert and I'm, like, I'm realizing, like, oh, this looks really good, but it really looks the exact same as every other episode. And But just for some reason today I think it looks good and I've done that before. But I'm just curious if there was, like, anything to that or, or not. But, but, yeah, I mean, I give Grievous a lot of shit because he's fun to make fun of with just him, like running away a lot and everything but i mean running away is a good tactic he he survives he survived this long and everything and he puts up a fight he captured a jedi this episode and he's he's known for taking down jedi it's just we follow the jedi that we know live so it's hard to like you know it's oh well he never takes down our jedi so i don't know what you're saying about him being good but no he is he's he's formidable and i mean sure Part of his formidableness is the fact that he comes in with these extra droids that, you know, help him when he gets into a pinch. They they back him up, his, his little backup singers over there. But, uh, like, maybe Ezekoth could have put up more of a fight if it was just one-on-one. -on -one. But, I mean, hey, tactic, war tactics is like, nothing says you have to 1v1. Like, sure, I can think it's a bit scummy. But I can also acknowledge it as a a form of strategy. And why would you ever one v one if you have this army of droids? Why not take your best ones and keep them with you and back you up in case something like that happens? So it is a it is a genuinely good strategy. And I just uh, it, even if it is a shitty one, it's same with like kicking someone in the nuts. Like yeah, that's a cheap shot. If I see that in a fight, I'm going to be like, you You made a cheap shot, though. You didn't really win. But if I'm ever in a fight and I feel like I'm, like, at risk for my life, I'm going to hit a fucker in their nuts, you know? Like, I'm going for it. Like, balls are fair game. I ain't dying for that kind of pride. So, um, it's just the way it is. So, like, I can, I can understand the way the way Grievous is. He's a survivor, man. So, it was like, I just wanted to, I just wanted to acknowledge that because I poke a lot of fun during the episode and, and I probably, like, I probably sometimes sound like I think that he's weak and useless, but he's not. He's strong. Like, even after his droids were defeated, he held his own against Obi-Wan. So, um, granted, he still did run away, but, but yeah. Anyway. Love the episode. I mean, Grievous planned for everything. You know, he's he's fought these guys enough times that he's like, oh, Obi Wan's here, so that means I know Anakin's here. Like, I think he could have bolstered his defense at uh, Ethkoth a little bit more. I feel like having what was that? Like maybe ten of those droids, and I know those are stronger ones and everything, but I don't know. It's just one of those things where I feel like he should have had some kind of better backup there. And then things could have ended up much differently. But he also didn't account for Galia being there, I don't think. I think, like, her being there was kind of a surprise. Granted, I mean, maybe he, maybe there was a part of him that was like, oh, it's possible Anakin won't be alone. And maybe he did factor that in a little bit. But anyway. Yeah, I mean, absolutely love the episode. And we are continuing it. He escaped to the planet. He's like, he really wanted to get to that planet. Even though, like... He should know that they know he's going to be going there, right? Like, there's no way he thinks that they don't know, which means that whatever is on this planet is going to help defend him against them even further. So I feel like it's going to be some kind of, you know, maybe more of his droid army forces. He probably has some kind of military force down there ready to fight. And obviously Obi-Wan's planning for that because he said bring the tanks, so... We're probably going to have another kind of siege-ish infiltration kind of mission going on. So I look forward to seeing whatever uh, whatever he has planned on this planet. So, But I think that's really all I have to say. 
It was a great episode. I loved it. Like a lot of, like I said, a lot of good animation, a lot of good moments, and um, just a lot of a lot of fighting, a lot of combat, a lot of cinematic space stuff that was just fun. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed. Check out my Patreon if you want to see more from me. Two episodes ahead of time through the early access to your Patreon shows, which are shows that I only watch on my Patreon. They get released later on to YouTube once I finish them. So you can get stuff like The Last of Us, which is on there, all the episodes. Stranger Things Season 3 and 4 are on there, all the episodes. And I'm currently watching Watchmen, which is a fantastic show. Uh, so you can catch all that on there. And then for anime, the rest of Simpo Gear that isn't released to YouTube yet is on there. And also Free Run, which is a really cool show too. So check all that out if you're interested. Links in the description should be popping up on the screen. And I'll see you guys in my future reactions. Bye-bye.